Welcome back. Uh, the pharmaceutical index is doing extremely well this afternoon as we speak. It is uh, at the high point of trade with a gain of almost 1.2%. So let's shift focus to our special segment, Value Plus. Ekta, what is the buzz here and what exactly are the valuations? Well, yes, you know, it is quite interesting because uh, a lot of uh, the pharmaceutical companies, it's a mixed performance. Some of them have really rallied and some of them have been seen moderate gains. But overall, net-net, most of them are in the green. So, for example, Aurobindo, that one stands out with a gain of around 93% this year. We have Lupin, which is up 74% this year. And like you can see on your screen, Alkim, Zydus, both of these stocks from the broader markets have rallied over 60-odd percent, along with even Alembic, which has given good returns of around 36-odd percent. Sun Pharma, following that, with a gain of around 26%. And uh, Sipla, Dr. Reddy's Divi's gains but not as much as what you've seen for the likes of Alchem, Alembic, etc. Now, that has reflected in terms of the valuations. Aurobindo, for example, is ra has uh, expanded in terms of valuations on a one-year forward basis from the start of this year to the end of this year by from seven times to 14 times. Lupin, 19 times to 33-odd times. And like you can see, a couple of the uh, others which have really rallied are Zydus, Alchem and Alembic in terms of valuations. The others, not so much. So, Zydus, 13 times uh, to 20 times. In fact, it's at an all-time high today. Alchem 18 times to 30 times. Alembic 21 times to 28 times. Just want to point out that our team has also informed us that Sun Pharma's market cap has hit 3 lakh crore as well. So that's the kind of wealth that it's probably created this year and uh, is sitting on a fresh uh, market capitalization. Experts say reason for the run-up. Um, Things such as mean reversion for the margins, because last two years the margins have been impacted due to high raw material costs from Chinese companies. Raw material costs are now declining as uh, Chinese companies are dumping inventory. Margins may sustain next year and may even improve marginally. Valuations, remember, like I said, Mangla, is a lot about stocks and their portfolio of drugs. All right, so that's about uh, you know the sector on the whole, but there are a bunch of stocks which are in focus as well. What's the news behind them? Well, uh, Zydus, I'll start with one, that one. It's received US FD approval to initiate phase two clinical trials of a particular drug that they're st studying for Parkinson's. Uh, so phase two will evaluate the safety of the drug, whether it can be tolerated by patients. And this is important because the US FD has given approval to them. So it's a tough regulator to get approval from. US FD not for uh, a drug which is also used to treat seizures. That's what Zydus has got. It will be manufactured at the Moriah plant, sales of around $250 million. Lupin, two drug approvals. One is tentative. So the first drug approval is used for gout. Sales of around $88.1 million will be manufactured at the Pitampur facility. Tentative not for citagliptin tablets, which is basically for uh, cholesterol and, uh, you know, blood pressure, etc. Manufactured at Pitampur, sales of $5 billion used for, um, you know, uh, NCDs, basically type 2 diabetes, etc. So important drug approval for them. And the spate of drug approvals have been extremely strong and consistent for Lupin, especially post-solving all of their USFTA issues. Now, I uh, just want to point out that there have been two brokerage notes which have come out as well. So, one is on IFL and the other one is on Sun Pharma. Um, with regards to IFL, uh, you know, the, the, uh, uh, the brokerage note is quite positive. Where, uh, or rather, I'll start with Sun because that's the bigger company. There's an outperform with a target price of 1,208 rupees. Uh, Bernstein says that Sun's psoriasis drug, which is basically marketed as Illumia in the US, is included in China's national reimbursement drug list. This happened a couple of days ago. It's incrementally positive news. It opens up another large psoriasis market for them. It can extend Illumia's growth runway, according to them. Remember that the psoriasis market is around 4. $8 billion at this point in time and they expect it to probably increase even further. There's a positive note which is coming on IFL where on Loris Labs where IFL hosted the management in London. They say that FY24 was a challenging year but there are near-term growth drivers that they're bullish on. All right. That's a lot of pharma. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll just, um, you know,